cracked lens, chipped up stuff, touched up stuff with a can or something at one point. Grill's kind of loose, got some cracks in it. Bumper's got a bend in it. I mean, this thing ain't here to be your girlfriend. This thing's here to like serve you well. Look at the light frames all busted apart on it. This thing's not, well, it is kind of beautiful, actually. I mean, I was gonna say it's not beautiful, but it's kind of beautiful. It's a nice truck. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. This here's gonna be a car review. It's not a car, it's a box van. And I got a lot of kind of cars. I got old cars like pontons. I got newer, oh, look at them beautiful mountains. Listen to that motorcycle chugging on down the road. Oh, freedom in a cool blue gel. There's a blue bus. Okay, so look at this, all these different cars, all this different stuff. Chevy stinking step side. Okay, everything's got something unique about it, like that. 63 Tempest Le Mans convertible. I've got it because of the uniqueness. Sport wagon. I mean, on and on and on. Trans Ams. But some things just are unique because of what they are. And you usually would see things like this little Cadillac over here, where I'd be like, oh yeah, check this out because it's a cool, rare car. But I'm shipping that stuff out. Now that I've been in Montana more, you're gonna see more tools and equipment like this what's cool about this thing well it's got a couple pluses number one it's almost got new tires and number two it doesn't leak man and number three it runs great i cast a long shadow into it i'm sorry it's a g30 chevy van it's a 1981 it's a great car great van runs great my woman drove it home she had like 95 pounds had no problem um own a u-haul van basically might have been a Penske, I don't know. I don't think it's U-Haul, but it's a U-Haul type box van. And it's an 81, it's in great shape, uh, runs good. Five digit odometer, um, I don't know if they're real, what's on it or not. I know whoever had it seemed to have taken care of it. Now you're gonna see things on it, look at the rust. Rust free, corrosion free, will not be terms used in this video. Yeah, it's got some issues, but that's just the issues it has. We've all got issues, right? The price, the price is where it's at on this thing, man. So G30 Chevy van, you could take it down by the river or the lake in the Chevy van, American Pie thing, I don't know. But if you want it, you can call me, 406-546-8748. And other than that, I'm gonna go around this thing and do an exterior video and basically show you <laughs> this. I mean, this the worst of it is some of the fenders are a little ate up. And I'll show you every which way you can see that fender's got some rot. Tires, nice, nice. Discover Radial AST Cooper. Cooper Cobra. I don't think it's a Cooper Cobra, but they're Coopers. What size? Load range D, A, B, C, D, E. Load range D has a 950 R16.5 LT. So it's still got 16.5s on it. Sorry I spun you around there, that wasn't good. Cracked lens, chipped up stuff, touched up stuff with a can or something at one point. Grill's kind of loose, got some cracks in it. Bumper's got a bend in it. I mean, this thing ain't here to be your girlfriend. This thing's here to like serve you well. Look at the light frames all busted apart on it. This thing's not, well, it is kind of beautiful, actually. I mean, I was gonna say it's not beautiful, but it's kind of beautiful. It's a nice truck, except for this. I think Holmberg might have done this with a, no, he didn't do it with a paint can, did he? I don't know, you can see some sand scratches. He dinged this up. If you wanna put a new fender on it, great, do it. Antenna's missing. I'll pop the hood on the second video. Um, look at how clean this fender is. Probably because he put Bondo in it. I think he's got something on it. Don't know. But look at this. It might not leak from the top, but it sure might leak from this side if you shoot some water in it. You can see pavement out of here if you look from the inside. But, man, I had to stink and shove this thing in. Stink and tap the weld on that thing. I think I put Bondo over it and make it look good. Might even cut this out and weld a piece of metal in it, who knows? I think I might just drive it till it falls apart. Look at this, that's some chewed up metal. But that's what you're buying. Or you might not be buying, you might be like, no, I ain't buy that. Look there, see, there's some steel wool that's helping hold that together. Now, I don't know about that. I think it came out of the inside when I was cleaning it. But reverse lights, I think, busted up. Got a crack in that light, serious hitch. I don't know what tongue weight that is, but I wouldn't use it for much than uh, ornamental art and I figure out what it exactly you're hooked to under here. I haven't really done that yet Let me get under here with you Carcrest bruiser gas Bruiser gas shocks. 
You know, it's not rusty underneath. It just somehow got some stuff. I mean, there's patina on it. But it just got some stuff thrown up into this metal. And look, it just ripped it apart going across there pretty bad. Um, it might even... They bondled that up at one point or something before they painted it. So, whatever. It seems to have been taken care of as far as the runnability goes. Because it runs like a top. Well, I'm showing you all the bad parts. Um, another cracked lens. You know, I'm going to go back over here and show you. Like, miscellaneous chips and dings and stuff everywhere. There's a ding here. Miscellaneous. Here's this little screw he's got here. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's a screw with a little rubberized thing that goes... Male, female type. That thing! It's that thing! But the little rubber balls in here are messed up anyways. That may not be on the truck. Just don't plan to have that with you because I might need that and yank it on off. Yank it on off? That don't make sense. But I think you know what I meant. So miscellaneous dings, scratches, scuffs. It's not absolutely beautiful. But it's just, it's got the use. It's got the purpose missing your side emblem piece. My battery totally putzed out on my camera. So I had to, go, I don't know where I stopped at. I think I said, hey, look, your middle one's missing. Or I might have said logo. Dent in there, crease. This stuff, you know, cracked windshield. Boom. It needs work if you want it to be a show van. Did you really think you were going to buy a box van to be a show van? I doubt it. I've shown you this side. Look at the wheel wells. They're actually pretty clean. Everything about this part is clean. It's just the damn fenders and the outside damage from the rust, corrosion. Corrosionary issues. Even the seal between the cutaway is good. So that's what you're looking at. Now let me show you these tires again. Woohoo! Look at that! Little titties all over the side. Man, them nice tires. And that's a Wildcat. That's a Radio LT Wildcat. That is actually a LT, wait, wait, 950R165 LT. Same tire, about the same dang tread. But these are radial discovery. Discoverer Cooper Cobras. Let me make sure this one's the same. Cooper? Not Cooper Cobra. I said Cooper Cobra. <laughs> Not Cooper Cobra. Just Cooper. Wildcats. So we got matched pair on the back, match set on the front, and the match set on the front looks a little bit older than the match set on the back. Match that up. So, it's a matchup. <laughs> That's the truck, man. I don't know what else I can show you. I'm going to do an interior review, fire it off, take it to the gate or something. And um, take some pictures here this evening to where you can see it in the evening time with no sun up. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And you know what? I'm going to show you that it starts up and runs to where you're not wondering. I mean, am I even going to give it a pump? I'm not even going to. Yes, I am. Just because. There you go. Oh, man. It's got a big RV can in it. You can hear that thing pop away. Okay, I'm Chevy Heavy. Got a blazer over there. Got a short bed right there. You got that step side I showed you at the beginning of the video. Magpie. Camp robbers. You know what a camp robber is? You ever heard of them called that? Okay, cool. There we go. That's the van. That's the deal. Hope you enjoy. Hope you buy. Hope you like. Call me up. It's cheap. It's cheap. Thanks for watching. One Owner Car Guy dot com and goodbye.